I've been interested in how planets' climates could be affected by different aspects. And so we need to be able to model these climates in order to accurately assess how habitable these planets could be. My name is Dr. Aomua Shields, and I am looking for extraterrestrial life in the universe. What we first want to do is find a planet. I'm an NSF Astronomy and Astrophysics Postdoctoral Fellow at the UCLA Department of Physics and Astronomy and at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. We can look at how planets interact over long time scales, like millions of years. I was really excited by this new field called exoplanet astronomy. An exoplanet is a planet orbiting a star other than our sun. Exoplanets can be within our own galaxy, and they can also be in the hundreds of billions of other galaxies that exist in the observable universe. We were finding these planets around other stars, and I wanted to know if a planet could be like Earth out there, and if that planet might actually have some form of life. The way that I'm looking for this planet is through modeling the climates of planets that we've discovered and trying to find a planet that has the best possible conditions for water and for life. This system is called Kepler-62, and it's a five-planet system orbiting a star a little bit cooler than the Sun. 62F is the one that I'm most interested in. This is a little artistic concept of what that planet might be like. It's 1,200 light years away. And a light year is six trillion miles, okay? So this is a really far, and as an astrobiologist and astronomer, we're very interested in the types of atmospheres planets could have, because a planet's atmosphere can make or break its habitability. If we think about these coats as atmospheres of planets, we can see that an atmosphere is pretty important to a planet's level of comfort and to its climate. So thinking about the types of atmospheres that we notice in our own solar system alone, we can start with one of the thinnest, which occurs on the planet Mars. And that atmosphere can be thought of as like this light shawl. And this light shawl, at the distance that Mars is from the sun, is not enough to keep that planet warm enough for liquid water on the surface. If we think about a planet that has the ideal atmosphere for its climate, that planet is Earth, and its atmosphere is like this red fleece. And an atmosphere allows Earth to keep a pretty stable climate over long time scales, and is warm enough for surface liquid water. Now a parka can help a planet that's really far away from its star. A thick atmosphere can be helpful in keeping a planet that's far away warm enough for liquid water. But a planet like Venus doesn't need that thick atmosphere that it has. So what we're finding is that a planet's climate is really, really influenced by the kind of atmosphere that planet has. Since we don't know what the atmospheres are like, I take what we do have, what we do know about the planet, like its size or its mass or how long it takes to orbit its star, and I put that information into a climate model, a computer model. The cool thing about being a climate modeler is that you're not limited by anything. You can sort of use your imagination and say, well, what if, the, what if the planet does this? What if it does this? How would that change its climate? And that's really fun for me. When I think about the planet that I've been studying most recently, Kepler-62f, and the chances of us being able to directly image this planet or take a spectrum of this planet's atmosphere, that time may be far away and it may happen after I'm long gone. Um, but what keeps me going is knowing that when I look up at the sky and I look in the direction of this planet, it's out there somewhere. And sometime, whether it's many, many millennia from now, there will be some sort of a communication. That's what gets me very excited, even though it might not happen in my lifetime, that we're on the road to finding another planet where life exists. Find out what it takes to become a scientist who hunts for extraterrestrial life. While performing your research, keep your eyes out for any other space-related careers that may interest you.